Hello everybody, Michael again, coming at you. We're going to do today, um, this, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I, should, I should probably say I'm from zombiegirlgaming.com. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add, not a complicated script, but since we don't have FTP access right now from Velair, what we're going to do is we're going to add this manually. Um, if you've looked at a couple other videos, you know that we've been having this problem and I've made about three of these videos tonight. So, you know, we've been having a little bit of a problem with uh, with the FTP access, and that's pretty common with Velair, at least in my experience that I've had. So, uh, we're going to teach you how to do it uh, old school style, non FTP access, whatever. Anyway, we're going to do it straight from right here, okay? Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the uh, vehicle service point, which is the refuel, rearm, and repair. Uh, this is a big thing, especially, uh, you know, your new server orders. You want people to be able to fill up with gas in their, in their cars or trucks or, or, or vehicles or whatever, and the helicopters to be able to refuel. And you can also, if you choose, uh, to rearm uh, vehicles with guns. And that's up to you. I mean, uh, I'm going to put the whole thing in so you understand. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll start from the beginning where we are now. Uh, I've stopped the server, all right, and there, again, is nothing on this other than I think uh, we've put uh, Infostar in, we've put Snap Building in, we've put a new load screen in, and now what we're going to do, because we're, uh, we're helping these guys out and set their server up, uh, we're going to put in uh, re the refuel, rearm, and repair. <coughs> so, not... not too hard, but since we don't have FTP access, it's a well, it's quite a bit more work. Okay, but I'm going to go through it step by step. So this might be a long video, I don't know, but I'm going to go through it step by step with you. Uh, first thing is uh, stop your server. Uh, I always stop my server, uh, you know, to be able to add stuff, and and you know, it, I just find it more comforting that way. <laughs> uh, evidently, with with Villaware, you can add it. Uh, while the server's still going, and then when it restarts, everything will restart. I, I don't believe in all that. So anyway, I've stopped the server, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file manager. And the file manager is going to bring up our normal list of stuff like you've seen in the, in the uh, past videos. And from here, uh, what I'm going to do is go down to Villier Code Custom. All right, and then go all the way down here to Missions at the very bottom. Click that. And then, uh, since we're walk, uh, we're running an Epoch Chinaris uh, server we're setting up here, uh, we're going to click Epoch Chinaris. Pretty simple. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, uh, uh, you pretty much just want to go to the mission file that is whatever you're running. So, there you go. Anyway, Epoch Chinaris, uh, which is probably more servers than anything. <laughs> Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to be working out of what this is, is the equivalent to the Mission PBO. Uh, if you guys are looking at this and you're not from Bill Lair and you can download a Mission PBO and you can download a Server PBO, uh, this is the equivalent. If you download your Mission PBO, this is what you will see uh, whenever you uh, un-PBO it, so to speak. Break it down, open it up. Anyway, this is what you're going to see. So, you know, from here, as long as you guys understand, you can still work with us. Uh, from here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, and I'm going to leave the link in the bottom part to epochmod.com. And uh, this is a script here, and I'm going to leave a link to this very script uh, by Axcop. Uh, Axcop is uh, an absolute genius, and he has done just wonders for the epoch community so uh, i just want to give him a little shout out here this is his his baby <clears throat> so uh when you come here and if you want to follow along with me if you can go ahead and pull that up right now and follow along with me uh this is pretty much where we're at uh, it's not hard to do especially if you have an ftp running <laughs> but we're going to do it manually so maybe this will also teach some of you 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 first time server owners and things like that a little bit you know become a little bit f more familiar and be able to see the coding and the scripting and things like that so um i always like to do stuff like this anyway so it's it's kind of nice uh it takes a whole hell of a lot longer but you'll get my point uh anyway what we're going to do 
is from the init squiff file. We're going to set this up to where we don't have to go back into, into the init squiff any longer. Uh, we are going to add this block right here. So do this along with me. Uh, what we're doing is, is if you scroll down, you'll see in the init squiff, which is a relatively small um, folder or file, uh, you're going to see if is dedicated then. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, again, this is the init squiff. We're going to hit the little pencil, which allows us to edit it online. Uh, or you can download it and do it that way, but we're just going to do it online. And as you see, I roll down here, and this is our if is dedicated then, and then whatever we want to put. Now, we can put that line uh, right here. That line right here, we could put that anywhere. Okay, but we're just going to put it at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to come up here to uh, back to our file manager, <coughs> and I'm going to create a little spot for it, which is going to be right here, and then just paste it. Okay. Now what that's going to do, I mean, you might want to you might want to separate them a little bit, you know, give yourself some. You you could even put uh, uh, two slashes over here, put service points, so you know what it is. But uh, you know. We know what it is. Anyway, uh, and what that's going to do is that's going to call to the service point folder and then and then essentially call to the service point squiff. And then that's just going to react to anything. So once we save this, we're not going to deal with the init squiff anymore. So we're going to save that. And then that is not the hard part. <laughs> the hard part is this. We're going to have to create... Uh, a file and since we don't have FTP access to where we could put all of this stuff in one file and just move it right over we're gonna have to do it manually all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to find something we need to find out what we're gonna name it all right and what this is is download all files from here into a folder service point so we're gonna want to create a folder called service point so what I do is I usually just uh, we'll just copy service point We'll go back up to the file manager and we are going to create a new folder. Okay? And from here, we just copy, I'm sorry, we just paste it. Service point. Alright, we press OK and it should pop up. That's there it is right there. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to click into service point. And you can see it's empty. We don't have anything in there yet. So as we start uh, copying these files, we're going to upload them into, into this directory. <coughs> so uh, what you want to do is you can download all the files from here. Now, uh, again, for some reason, all right, every time that I've dealt with this kind of stuff, I usually just copy and paste the thing. Okay, <laughs> it seems to work. Uh, if there's a way to do this that you guys know of that I don't know of, or some little download where I can download it all at one time, I would appreciate it. But evidently, it's just not working for me, or I'm just stupid. I don't know. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna be the name of your file right here. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, if you haven't done this so far, is. Uh, uh, we haven't started anything yet other than change the init squiff file. I want you to come, I want you to go to Google, and I want you to type in notepad plus plus um, and what will happen, well, let's see, Come on, there. yeah, I want you to type in notepad and it should just pop up right there for you, notepad plus plus, okay? And what you want to do is just go to the download link right there and uh, what I would do is come down here to the notepad installer okay click on that download it uh, if you're gonna do any kind of scripting any kind of coding any kind of everything or if you're just gonna work on your server uh, you need to have this it will help you immensely and really keep you organized so download all that install it and then what happens let me minimize this is you're going to come up with um, let me get out of this. You're going to come up with this little guy right here, this little notepad guy that's going to be uh, after you download and install. And all you want to do is just double click that and then you're going to get into Notepad. All right. Now we're going to take these files one at a time 
and please follow me very carefully so there's no mess ups because it's going to seem like uh, I'm going in and out of pages and everything else, but I'm going to explain it to you. <clears throat> uh, the first thing is since we do have this up now, we're just going to minimize that. Okay, we're going to bring back up our web page again. Uh, I don't need to be here. I need to be here. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this. All right, which uh, if you guys do it this way or copy paste the whole thing, however you do it, we're going to copy this entire thing. Now, the main thing is, is we don't want to get the numbers in there. So, uh, copy all of that. And then down here at the bottom, if you can see at the bottom where my cursor is, I'm just going to click on that. It's going to bring this up. I'm going to bring up Notepad. I'm just going to paste it. Okay, that's all we have to do right here. All right, now since uh, we have to name the file, we're going to come up to File, which is up here, and we're going to save as. Uh, what I would suggest you do is save as um, all types. You see this up here? Save as all types. And the reason is, well, first we have to find out where we're going to save it. I like to save everything to desktop because it's easy to access. So click on desktop, <coughs> and you can save it anywhere here. It's fine. Uh, we need to find out what to name it, you know, because the uh, the script is going to want proper names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up this here, and what we're going to do is we're going to name this service point .sqf. So take this, uh, right click, copy. We're going to go back to Notepad plus plus, and the only thing we're going to do is paste it here. Okay, so it's going to be service point .squif. We're going to hit save and we're done okay and it's also saved here and let me get out of this and as you can tell somewhere here <laughs> I lost it service point there it is okay now while we're in here rather than shuffling in between and and uh, you know uh, uh, let's upload this and let's upload this we're gonna make all four of these okay uh, all four files that we're gonna need so we'll just go back to the web page. We've already done this one. So let's back it up. And now we're going to need service point rearm. Okay. We're going to go to here and at Notepad. The only thing you have to do is click on file. I mean, you could just delete this if you want, but we won't. Let's click on file and new. Okay. And that's going to open us a, a, a new tab here. All right same thing all we're gonna do go back to the web page and we're going to copy all of this so we're gonna copy it we're gonna go back to notepad down here and then we're just gonna paste it all right and uh, at this point we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna want to save it right so let's go to file save as and uh, since we're already in desktop, all we have to do is go back to the web page down here, and we know that we need to aim, we need to name it this name. So I'm just going to copy this, <coughs> go back to Notepad plus plus, and paste it. Okay. Now remember, if you save it as a normal text file, you got to screw yourself up a little bit. So make sure that save as type is all the way up the top here, all types okay and then we just hit save that's our second one so now the third one we're going to go to file again new that's going to open up the third file and since we're here we're just going to go back hit the back button and now we are at service point refuel dot squiff okay and we are simply just going to come down the bottom. Make sure that you get these last colons, these 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 last marks, everything. If you skip something, it's not going to work. So we're going to come all the way up here. We're going to copy all of this here. Go back down to Notepad plus plus here, and we're just going to paste it. Okay. Again, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go on and go to File, Save As and go back to our web page and we're going to be saving it as service point refuel dot squiff so copy it go back to here paste it 
that's it service point refills uh, refill squiff uh, make sure again that you go all the way up to the top to all types and then save all right now we have one more left so we're going to go to file new and back to the web page go back to our main uh, our main thing here and we're going to have service point repair dot squiff click on that and then remember copy everything here all the way up <clears throat> and copy and then we're going to go back to notepad plus plus at the very bottom because it's still open and we're going to paste all right and again we're going to want to save it so file save as let's go back to our web page and we're going to save that as service point repair dot squip so copy and then go back to notepad plus plus at the bottom copy it here paste now um, again make sure that you go up to all types okay and save it so now <clears throat> we have our four files we have everything we need uh, we can actually since everything is saved we can just X out of this we're not going to need this anymore uh, let me minimize our uh, our web thing and you should see service point here and this is service point here repair and I'll let it. okay now as you can see this is everything that we need there's repair refuel uh, this is service point rearm and this is uh, service point so we've got our four files and what we essentially need to do at this point is just upload them where they should be so uh, service point squiff refuel rearm repair all right now let's go back to our bill layer tab uh, here okay and basically we're going to upload those files all right now whenever you upload you can upload three files at a time here so let's upload and we're going to choose our file and the file is going to be on desktop and you'll see them they'll they'll all uh all stand out pretty well here they are there's one two three four there they all it doesn't matter which which one you you do so let's open up this one and then we're going to open up uh, this and then we're going to open up the third one which is refuel and then so the only thing that we have left to upload is a service point repair and then click upload and this ought to happen pretty quickly all right everything's been uploaded x out of it and they should appear right here all right there's all three of them now the next thing we want to do is we have one more upload upload i'm going to choose the file go back down to our final file which is a service point repair and open it up and then just upload snap it pretty quickly x out of it and we have all four now if you make a mistake and can't figure out which one you just uploaded if you try to upload the same thing it'll tell you you're duplicating it all kind of stuff so this is really it so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we've already put the Enix squiff in we've already done all this stuff and uh, we're done uh, again if we had FTP access this would have went a lot faster for us but, <laughs> but that's not so bad all right so other than that, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, please put them in the comment section below uh, or visit our website at zombiegirlgaming.com and uh, we will get you, uh, we'll get straightened out, okay? And uh, remember, stay tuned. I'm going to have a part two to this and this is going to be it actually in progress. But what I want to do is I want to get in game. I need to spawn a car and, uh, and show you how it works with the repair as well as the fuel. And so stay tuned, go to part two of this, and uh, you'll see everything. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, take care, guys.